So today guys, a uh, bit of a different video. Um, I'm getting really frustrated with Gran Turismo 7 and the current like stage of development that it seems to be in because every single time there's a new update for this game they seem to change the physics in some way now last update uh, so that was before this one I think it was 1.27 uh, let me fact check on that okay current version 1.25 so version 1.24 the physics were broken for some four-wheel drive vehicles and all-wheel drive vehicles I, I heard you know how the weight transfer was broken how it felt like the cars were wobbly at higher speeds and I was like okay so what's the deal with that and um, come to find that the FR vehicles are also broken as well so come through and then we're trying to f figure out you know what's up with the vehicles and it's actually the weight transfer of the vehicles that were broken. One of the issues that came with the game at launch. So by any means, this should not be in the game at its current state with it being, what, uh, seven months out from launch? I mean, this is like the same bullcrap that's been going on with Battlefield 2042. Like the game just starts to get good and whatever and then an old issue comes back or something that's unpolished and never has been fixed is still a glaring issue you know it's just it, it's it's actually annoying that these triple a gaming studios get away with this nowadays and not to mention you know the poor quality control that's coming out of you know this game like we're used to it, it's like um it's gotten to a point where me being somebody that used to play Gran Turismo and only Gran Turismo on, you know, on the PlayStation, my friends are getting the same way where they don't want to play the game or tune cars because the physics keep changing and the cars just don't handle like they should and, it, it, and it's really aggravating coming from you know a standpoint of hey you know we really like driving we really love cars and you know this is the only simulator you know that we really have you know good access to and it's just not living up to our expectations at all because at the end of the day we sit down to play these games and they're just not what they used to be, right? I remember playing a lot of Gran Turismo Sport and, you know, the physics aren't exactly the most realistic, but they're better than what we have right now. And that's, you know, like a far cry away from where we should be because this game is a newer generation game. It should be better, right? But it's the exact opposite. It's not as good as it could be. It's not as good as it used to be. And that's what's so aggravating about this game. And as being an avid Gran Turismo fan and having friends that really enjoy playing the game too, it's really hard to stick on something that changes constantly. And I hope, you know, like most people that play games all the time understand that. And even people that, you know, casually play games, I know people that only play Gran Turismo, right? I figure that they'll that a lot of them are very frustrated. I've played with people in lobbies where people are complaining all the time about the physics. It's not the online aspects or anything. The most integral part of the game is the part of the game that still hasn't been unified or hasn't been finalized yet. And it's really aggravating for us players because we're trying to get to the point where we're getting comfortable with the physics and the cars in the game. But they always switch it up every single update. And that's what's most aggravating about Gran Turismo 7. They need to fix that. And that's like the most like top priority thing they need to do. They don't need to add more content. Blah, blah, blah. The content's nice. But they need to fix the physics. And they need to make them way more predictable than they are now. And it's just really frustrating. Because none of us can tune. None of us can you know figure out which cars are the best our favorite cars they're constantly changing and they feel different each update you know it, it, it's frustrating that's what they need to fix you know foremost but i do have some clips that i w want to show you 
of how the physics have changed and, you know, how the game has moved on and how different it feels right now. And, uh, I'll show you that now and, like, you know, how much of a difference the physics have made this update and how different it is. I have some, like, track times and stuff that we'll go through and stuff like that. So this is my first time driving after the new update, um, just for some context. So this is my first genuine reaction. One thing I've noticed, Jesse, what? the sensitivity for the gas, like for accelerator, is mm -hmm. way higher now. I have to check that out because I haven't. Like, that. you don't have to press as far to get a response. Is what I mean. I mean, it doesn't go as quick, you know, like we were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, but I got some for Freddy Fugosi. No! The same I issue, said, no, I get it now, the same issue that the fucking four-wheel drives had, and I know these cars don't have at high speed, is the fucking <laughs> oversteer at high speed. Now, now it's on the fucking... Dude, what the fuck? Now, now these cars are very oversteer and they fucking lean a lot. But they feel the but same otherwise. Before this update today, better. Now it kind of feels like it went backwards-ish. Oh no, I'm gonna give that time trial a go now, since they changed the physics of the FRs. These cars lean a lot more than they used to, Jesse. That's yeah. what I'm noticing. It's, it's ridiculous, man. They really need to fucking get their shit together. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said just yesterday, you know, these cars didn't lean as much. And granted, you know, the, it didn't oversteer as much as they are now, right? But then again, the cars were just right. The FRs were just right. They just need a little bit more oversteer, not what we got. Um, I'm not sure if a car's supposed to roll like this. No, it, it's really not. I'm doing like 10 miles an hour right now, just flicking my stick left and right, and the body rolls violent. Yeah, that's what the that's what the four wheel drives did last update. I wish I recorded it because I'm I'm gonna put this in a video because this is just fucking ridiculous. Dude, like I'm getting 10 tired or of this. 15 miles an hour and flick your stick all the way left oh, and right. And look dude, I'm doing like 90, the and it, it's making me jump across the whole track when I flick because of how far I'm getting lifted up. Let's see how my other car is that is slightly tuned for drifting. No. Still has that crazy roll. And I know I stuffed the fucking roll bars on this car. Alright. This just happened. <coughs> Console under the computer. At one fucking show in your mind. Oh my lord, look at that roll! Just want. While I'm turning in the corner, the sh the weight transfer is totally broken this update. Holy fuck! We don't get much tuning, even with the fully customizable suspension. It's very limited tuning still. Hopefully. How about race cars? Is it this profound on race cars too? Because I know fucking stock they shouldn't roll like this. I mean, my S2000's about to fucking 
like turn over the way transfer is so ridiculous. Let me get a race car out like a group three. I'm gonna get out two different. I'm gonna get out a road model, kind of group three. Very. Alright, just do that white transfer. Oh no, fuck this. It's instant. The white transfer is just instant. It doesn't even. Look how fucking ridiculous this looks. It first. <laughs> what? It's like jerk, 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 jerk. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. This is just like that from day one too, and I always thought it was silly. Driving cockpit and it just immediately changes in. It's just so it's so ridiculous, dude. They need to fucking figure it out, dog. Oh it's about to lift off every single time I turn it. No wonder it doesn't want to fucking grip. You know the Supra at one point in time couldn't you couldn't drive it because over like 160 it would just lift the front wheels up. So you get like a death wobble. Ridiculous. Sort of, but you couldn't steer at all. It would just go in a straight line. Period. You had to go really slow with it to steer. I don't know if I is that, is that what that. they want with this? Because I know weight transfer doesn't happen this quickly. Oh my lord. So fucking It's the new stupid. generation of developers. All the older guys who did the older games are gone. Now we got stupid fucks. I'd say. The last update was just right. Like I said, I wish I had it recorded. Like, just everything felt good except for some four-wheel drives, right? And then now... Yeah. And now the weight transfer is just completely botched. An actual group three, it feels okay because the roll bars are actually, no, I lied. The suspension's too soft now. Because I had this car tuned just right and now every bump I hit it feels like the car's like fucking jumping. Alright. It's an actual jump. We'll see what happens. That physics has always been broken when you hit ramps. No, I actually hit that part of the track where the car. This car in particular is known for lifting off without slowing down, and I stuck to the track. But another part of the track I just took off a little bit. Where it's not known for taking off. Odd. Now this car has, like, ultimate downforce. It's just like... Absolutely... It's absolutely ridiculous how this much this car is sticking now at high speed. Don't get no death wobble or anything, but the way transfer, sure, it's still profound. It's still ridiculous. So here you can see my time that I got the other day. This is update 1.24. Um, I could not beat this time for the life of me. I tried and tried and tried, but this car had so much understeer that it just made it basically impossible. So I came back to it today, update 1.25, to see if I could beat the time. And, well, spoilers, I beat the time by over a second and a half nearly. So, um, it just, you know, goes to show how much the physics changed in this last update just in particular absolute crap or at least it did before um, the update maybe they freaking changed it and the weight transfer is enough to generate a little oversteer because for some reason on the controllers you can't steer as far as you can with the steering wheel no matter what you do but you know uh, the um, the time trial event for this week the Corvette C7 ZR1.
Alright, let's see how this does. Definitely oversteers now like it used to not. Shaved a little bit off our time there. About a quarter of a second. So this is my best lap time here. Um, what I did better on this lap was this high speed section here. Uh, I got the weight transfer perfect, which isn't saying much since it's freaking broken. But I got that high speed turn just right, right there and then uh, continued down this section here and then on the chicane I ended up actually getting around it by using the weight transfer to my advantage again and it's just weird because I'm not even like using the line like I should and I'm just using the weight transfer to my advantage instead but and come around the end here you'll hear my live reaction after I'm done with this lap. That's a good time right there. 115. This was impossible on a gamepad a few days ago, though. So. But the brokenness of the game makes it possible, which is kind of ironic. You know, I, I just wanted a good example of how broken the game really is, because, it, like I said a few days ago, it was impossible, but now it's it's completely fine. It's so stupid. They need to fix the game. There's still a lot that needs to be done to fix the game from launch. Um, in particular... You know, the physics. They keep changing the physics every single update. And they keep tweaking it. And you can't make tunes for, like, long-term use or anything because everything's always different. Okay? They just need to find something that works and just stick with it. That's all they need to do. This game's been out for a few months now. You know, I mean, I, I'm expecting it to be... A finished product, you know, at least the, the main part of the game, which is the driving physics, but they keep changing it constantly. And it makes it hard for us to stay on the game and play and have fun and drive around when something as stupid as weight transfer is broken every other update. And then it doesn't get fixed for another two to three weeks. It's ridiculous. I'll make another update video if they end up fixing it in like two to three days, right? But I highly doubt it. But if a hot fix comes around and they do fix it, I'll, I'll post an update on that. But either way, I, I'm uh, I'm gonna get off this game, play something else, with my friends. This is this game is just not worth my time right now.